Measures of variability, group data. How to find the range, variance, and standard deviation. The data represents the ages of 50 Filipino women at first marriage. Using the group frequency distribution of the given set of data, find the range, variance, and standard deviation. How to find the range? The range is just equal to the upper boundary of the highest class minus the lower boundary of the lowest class. The highest class is 31 to 33. The upper limit of the highest class is 33. To find the upper boundary, just add 0.5 to the upper limit if the data values are whole numbers. 33 plus 0 0.5 is 33.5. The lowest class is 19 to 21. The lower limit of the lowest class is 19. To find the lower boundary of the lowest class interval, just subtract 0 0.5 from the lower limit of the lowest class interval. 19 minus 0 0.5 is 18.5. The range is equal to 33.5 minus 18.5 equals 15. How to find the mean? The mean is just equal to the sum of the product of the frequency and the class mark divided by the total frequency. The total frequency is 50. 3 plus 7 plus 15 plus 12 plus 13 is equal to 50. Let's add a column for the class mark. The class mark or the midpoint is just the sum of the lower limit and the upper limit divided by 2. 31 plus 33 is 64 divided by 2 is 32. 28 plus 30 is 58 divided by 2 is 29. 25 plus 27 is 52 divided by 2 is 26. 22 plus 24 is 46, divided by 2 is 23. 19 plus 21 is 40, divided by 2 is 20. Next, multiply each of the class marks to each of the corresponding frequencies. Add an Fx column. 3 times 32 is 96. 7 times 29 is 203, 15 times 26 is 390, 12 times 23 is 276, 13 times 20 is 260. Find the sum. The sum is 1225. The mean is equal to 1225 divided by 50. This is equal to 24.5. The variance is just equal to the sum of the product of the frequency and the square deviation divided by the total frequency minus 1. Let's add a column for the mean, which is 24.5. Another column for the deviation from the mean Class mark minus mean. 32 minus 24.5 is equal to 7.5. 29 minus 24.5 is 4.5. 26 minus 24.5 is 1.5. 23 minus 24.5 is negative 1.5. 20 minus 24.5 is negative 4.5. Then square the deviation. Add another column for the squared deviations. 7.5 times 7.5 is 56.25. 4.5 times 4.5 is 20.25. 1.5 times 1.5 is 2.25. Negative 1.5 times negative 1.5 is 2.25. 
negative 4.5 times negative 4.5 is 20.25. Next, multiply each of the frequencies to each of the corresponding square deviations. Let's add a column for the product of the frequency and the square deviations. 3 times 56.25 is 168.75. 7 times 20.25 is equal to 141.75. 15 times 2.25 is 33.75. 12 times 2.25 is 27. 13 times 20.25 is 263.25. Find the sum. The sum is 634.5. Using the formula, variance is equal to 634.5 divided by 49 is equal to 12.95. The standard deviation is just the square root of the variance. The square root of 12.95 is just equal to 3.6. The standard deviation is equal to 3.6. Thanks for watching.